Hey, Keys Mods fans, David Fine here. Guys, I actually took my Electro Strymon and Julia Fulvis Hair Streak Pupa to work with me because it's all colored up. I'm going to show it to you in a minute. I think it's going to emerge today, and I want to see if I can catch it emerging for you and give you a video of a little tiny hair streak coming out of its chrysalis. So, uh, guys, stay tuned, and I'm going to show you the fulvous hair streak emerging in its first moments of life as an adult butterfly. Check this out. All right, guys, right here, I have my fulvous hair streak uh, chrysalis. And what I wanna try and show you, I'm using a pencil, I don't have my forceps with me, but I'm gonna try and turn it so I can show you the wings colored up the wing pads of the chrysalis actually colored up. Let me see. There, you can see the wing pad. Let's see. Yep, right there. <clears throat> the wing pad is right here. And you can see how small this is. This is the tip of a, a dull tip of a pencil. <laughs> Um, and that's how small this chrysalis is. In fact, this is paper towel. And you can see the, the ridges in the paper towel look like mountains in here. But um, the wing pad is right here. And it's really, really dark. I don't know if I can, the light's not, lighting's not that great. And I have my flash on on my iPhone, but it's not gonna provide the best lighting to show really high quality macro videography but um let me see if i can flip them over a little bit yeah you can see the head here here are the eye capsules you can see the eyes developed um this guy's going to emerge anytime today so i'm just going to pop him back in his cup And let me show you how I do this. Let me gently, oops. Okay. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Here's this 16 ounce cup. I made the uh, a paper towel ramp here to go up. And that purpose for that ramp is so that the butterfly has something to crawl up on. Um, paper towel works well because the fibers of the paper towel were great for something for them to hang on to. And then I'm gonna just top this thing off and put the, the lid on. But as you can see, underneath the lid, I put another sheet of paper towel just in case the butterfly crawls up to the top and wants to hang upside down the paper towel gives it something to hang upside down on. So guys, I'm just gonna let this sit here and work on my computer work until I get, you know, I'm gonna look at it and just let you know when it emerges and see if I can get you some cool video of it emerging. But um, back to work and back to coffee, here we go. Okay guys, so I went to a meeting um, and a lunch and when I came back, guys, look, who popped out of their chrysalis. You guys, we've got a freshly emerged, fulvous hair streak, Electrostrymon angelia. What a beauty. Looks like a female. Females have a little bit more rounded forewings. The males have a little bit more of a, a point on their wings, like a, a little more angular. Uh, the female's wings are more rounded, uh, and it, it's tough for me to show you guys on this, but um, I'm super excited about this one because, guys, this is the first Angelia that I've raised in like 20 years. So I'm super excited, guys. So I'm going to let this girl um, dry her wings, and then we are going to see if we can feed her and take a closer look. So 
Uh, you know, when she dries her wings, she's going to be, uh, yeah, she's starting to move around a little bit here now. Um, when she dries her wings, she is not, <laughs> she's not super uh, easy to video. So we're going to try and get her on some sugar water and see if, you know, we can get you guys some good video of this species. Uh, you know, one thing I love about hair streaks, I love their checkered legs and antennae. For some reason, many hair streak species have checkered legs and checkered antennae. And they're just super cool, guys. Super cool thing. This is a tiny butterfly, by the way, guys. This is less than an inch wingspan probably three quarters of an inch wingspan and <laughs> very challenging to video very challenging to uh you know get good footage of in a macro you know this macro photography macro videography actually is not easy with this bug uh but you know I, and they never open their wings so you can't really get inside to see what uh this girl looks like inside unless you mount them. So like th this species does not even open their wings in, in nature. Um, you know, a lot of hair streak species will kind of like open their wings and take in some sun. Uh, and not, I've never seen Angelia do that. And so they really hide that bright copper coloration that's on the inside of the wing. So guys, let me try and see what I can do. Let me see if I can feed this girl in a few minutes and see if I can get you some cool video outside of the cup. Okay, so I went and got some ingredients. I got a little bit of sugar. It's from my, my coffee station over there. Don't need a whole lot. Just a little bit of sugar. Got a little bit of water. And just, just a little bit there. I'm just going to dissolve the sugar. And we are going to make a nice little solution. Now, she has been out of her chrysalis now for probably an hour, hour and a half. Um, you got to make sure before you do anything like this, you have to make sure that they've had the chance to connect their mouthpiece. Uh, the butterflies have a proboscis, which is kind of like a straw that has two pieces. It's it's a little bit more complicated than a straw, but their mouthpiece that's in the front of their head, uh, which is tucked up underneath their palpi right there. But that little that little tongue that's in the front, which you can't see in this video, uh, is in two pieces and they have to connect those two pieces and curl it up underneath their their head. And so you can't really you got to make sure before you mess with them that they fully dry their wings and that they connect their mouthpiece. So now that I've got some dissolved sugar, what I'm going to do is I've got just some paper towel and I'm going to dab, I'm going to absorb some of that sugar water. Let's see. If she'll crawl on, I bet she'll crawl right on and start feeding right on my desk. Let's see. Try and encourage. There we go. There we go. There we go, guys, there we go. Electrostrymon angelia freshly emerged. And you can see, let me get this out the way. All right, we're getting a look at this butterfly here, not behind the, the, the cup behind the uh, messed up 
plastic of, of my cup. But you can see how she's twitching those hind wings, guys. You know, the reason they do that is because those tails on the back are actually a really cool mimicry thing that the hair streaks have going on. They, they twitch those tails in the back because they look like antennae. And what they do is they have like those false eye spots in the back there. And when they're feeding, they got their head down, they usually put their antennae down. Oh, oh it just flew. Well, okay, she landed. <coughs> She landed on my roof. Hold on a second. Let me, I gotta try and get her down here. Okay guys, I'm not a spring chicken anymore. So standing on my desk to come get, <laughs> one way to get hair streaks guys, is you put them in a cup, you turn it upside down, they're gonna always go up to the light. <laughs> so, as long as you can get them in your cup, turn it upside down, there's a light source up top. The hair streak will, oh, I just made a fool of myself. Here, let me try that again. Get her in the cup. What do I do with that? So my finger. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Okay, I'm gonna put her down on the desk in my cup. And we are going to try again. Okay. Let me see if I can get our little dude. <laughs> All right. We're going to try again to video our little hair streak. And let's see. Hair streaks have a pretty short proboscis. See that little proboscis hanging there in the front? They do have a pretty short proboscis. So a lot of the flowers that hair streaks will visit are typically um, sh really short throated flowers. And Let's see, I'm trying to get the best quality video here for you guys. There we go. It's it's looking a little bit better here. All right. Um, so you can see that little proboscis poking around down there. Guys, this is a tiny butterfly. It really is. Oh, he's done. She's done feeding. So like I was saying about those tails, those tails are actually antenna mimics. And almost every hair streak has some kind of false eye spot on the back of the hind wing, mimicking the head. And what they do, the reason they twitch those, those hind wing tails is because they want to draw attention to that hind wing because if a predator tries to eat it and takes a mouthful of that hind wing, the butterfly flies away, it might have a little bit of wing missing, but it's not losing his head and he lives to fly another day. So uh, that is a defense mechanism, a strategy that is morphologically on almost every hair streak specimen. Um, at least most of the ones in the United States have some kind of um, false head on the back, false antenna on those tails. You know, there are some hair streaks that don't have tails, like the Atala. Um, they have other strategies of protection, like they're, they're just poisonous, and they advertise that by showing off their bright red abdomen and flashy blue metallic colors. But um, these guys are not toxic, and a bird or lizard or, you know, something like that will make short work of this little girl. So, uh, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Fulvis Hair Streak, guys. Rare Tropical Beauty down here in South Florida. And um, I'm glad we got to show you one emerge. So guys, oh, she's starting to feed again. 
Hopefully we we'll show you a male. We'll see if we get a male to emerge and see if we can get them to breed in captivity. Um, getting hair streaks to mate in captivity is a whole nother trick. Um, so guys, give me a thumbs up on the small butterfly video. <laughs> uh, like the video guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And uh, we got a lot more action where this is coming from guys. We got plenty of butterflies to show you from down here in South Florida, butterflies and moths. And guys, just so you know, raising small hair streaks. That was easy. Yeah, well, maybe since we're down here in South Florida, we can uh, flip that over to Spanish. É tão fácil. Yeah, esto es fácil. So guys, esto es fácil. You just need a little bit of patience. Guys, take care and we'll see you soon.